Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. So Scar here, bringing you another creative fun time episode with Scar as we continue to build this amazing modern house. And in today's episode, we're going to lay down the sod and plant some flowers and trees and make all sorts of other cool and awesome garden designs. So let's get this episode underway. All right, and welcome back to our creative fun time episode. And one quick change we've made to this pathway between episodes was just I added a little variation in this different stones. Like here's a little smooth and here's a little bit of um, whatever they call that block. And um, yeah, so we got that in there. It looks pretty darn cool. We got our pathway and now it is time to lay the sod and get all those things all sorted out. But before we do that, we're going to fly on up over here and take a look at our backyard so i've been planning out the backyard and what i want to do is kind of make a real nice kind of a uh, flowing pool along here kind of some organic shapes instead of like kind of the different modern box shapes that we've made in the past so i want to try something a little bit different and another thing i want to do some type of sporting thing so i'm thinking maybe a basketball court or a tennis court of some kind over here i know in the comments in the last video a lot of people wanted a football court but I don't know if we have quite enough room to make an entire football court. Um, another thing I came up with back here is it would be cool if we could do a meandering path through some gardens and stuff to here. Or maybe we could do just a little fishing dock back here. Wouldn't that be the coolest house? No, now follow me here. If you had that in your backyard, don't tell me that wouldn't be awesome. Because that would be totally cool. Another thing I was thinking of, along with the pool that we are going to build, maybe a small lap pool. I think that might be a kind of fun idea. All right, so we're going to get started here, and we're going to get out our lime-stained clay, and then we're going to get out our green-stained clay, and we are laying the sod. Look at that. Here we go. So we're getting stuff done right away here, and we're starting to lay down the sod for our house. And what we're going to do, once we get this all kind of laid out, we are going to make some olive trees. And because when I'm looking at this house, I kind of picture, I said this in the first episode, I picture this house to be a house maybe that um, somebody, if they were in the real world, they might be like a tech executive. Because this is a house of somebody with great means. And um, I would assume, you know, this is kind of a, a nice house. So somebody maybe of a tech executive, maybe in the Silicon Valley of California, you know, where all of the tech companies live. And so I'm thinking, so in that area there's a lot of oak trees and um, a lot of people plant olive trees because that's kind of the cool thing around there so we're going to plant two olive trees flanking the entrance to the house and then on these anchor points of the front yard we are going to plant oak trees what we're going to do you know <clears throat> minecraft has man my voice i apologize it's still bad um we are going to plant but oak trees but we're not just going to make standard minecraft oak trees and of course not we are going to make scar oak trees so we're going to make some custom trees there that should be pretty darn awesome and this is amazing how fast this is i love playing in survival and i think it's more rewarding and but it is fun sometimes to play in um creative mode to you know try to push the boundaries a little bit and it's quite a bit easier, <laughs> but I still love my survival builds and worlds because there's just something great about it. You know, when you look at it, you're like, you know, I could tell you where those blocks that I used to build that came from. And, you know, that's what I love. About. I love the I love the two game modes. That's why I wanted to incorporate two different series into my channel. There we go. All right. Almost getting this done. So, yeah, talking a little bit more about the lap pool idea. Um, back a long time ago, back when we were actually designing the tree farm, um, it was a little bit before the summer games of 2012 in London, and I've been a swimmer my entire life, a very competitive swimmer, and, you know, I get excited when the summer games come along because it is the only time that swimming ever gets any recognition, and with Michael Phelps doing the amazing things he's done for the last couple Olympics, um, I wanted to build an Olympic-sized swimming pool in Scarland. And I got an idea and I went quickly into a creative world and jotted down just a kind of a basic design of it. It was I have a, I have a, a creative world that I like to use as kind of like a notepad or a sketchbook. If I get kind of a cool idea, I like to run in there real quick and just build it build just a quick little design of it just so I don't forget it. You know, if we want to build something like that in a future build of some kind, I highly recommend anyone do that. And let me know if you guys do that too. If you have a world like 
you get an idea and you're like, I don't have any time to build it all the way out or I might want to build it in a survival world, but I don't want to forget it until I get, you know, the resources and stuff. So I would recommend building a little world that you could go into and just jot down an idea for a bed or maybe half a part of a house so you don't forget that particular design. And um, what I did was I built this really kind of uh, cool um, Olympic sized swimming pool just about half of it, and I was going to do it for the Olympics. But unfortunately, in 2012, I was in the hospital during the entire Olympic Games, so I uh, never got to do that, unfortunately. Kind of a bummer. Definitely a bummer. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're taking this wood here, and this is nice because it has the light grays, that, and as you can see there, and we're also going to take the birch leaves. And this is the closest I can come up with to make an olive tree, so I think it's pretty cool. But this is kind of a manicured um, olive tree, maybe not something that would actually, like, you would see, you know, kind of naturally growing out, but something that somebody may plant in their yard in California, which is very popular. So we're just kind of filling these in a little bit. And let's see here. This is really fun. I love making trees. I love making trees. Doing this in survival on Scarland where we've done the terraforming project takes hours and hours, but in here we can get something out pretty quick. So I think we can get a nice design. So trying to keep things somewhat looking like maybe that uh, professional gardeners kind of kept this thing going, you know, making a nice shape and everything, but not making it a complete box. So just something, you know, nicely trimmed up a little bit. There we go. Just getting that out there a little bit. I think that is going to look nice. There we go. Let's see here. All right, so this part's a little bit funny. So when you're doing this, just kind of play around with it a little bit. Try to find what you like. And yeah, so as you can see, I am going to continue to finish this up a little bit. Let me catch my breath and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So there's our trees up there. There's our little olive trees built up there. And I think they look pretty cool. You know, they're not, you know, perfectly symmetrical. They look like they're just like kind of a natural but well-maintained tree. Pretty darn cool. Okay, so I threw together a quick oak tree over here. Just kind of a nice little uh, tree built up here. I decided to go with the darker wood here just to distinguish itself from the forest that built itself up out there. I'm thinking about taking that big tree down there. What do you think? Should I take some of that down a little bit? I think it overshadows this area. So I'm thinking about getting rid of that. Okay, so let's start another one over here. And this one kind of leans a little bit. I'm thinking about maybe making it lean a little less. So this one's a little bit more, um, a little more stout, if you will. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. I want this one to be a little bit more even, if you will. How about that instead of stout? I'm not exactly sure what that means. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Trying to decide, you know, kind of on the uh, the way how it goes. So when you're doing this, just kind of play around with it. You don't want it to be symmetrical and all perfect. You want to have a little bit of life, a little character to it. Has some branches growing out here or there. Once you get to this point here, I think it's a good point to start to add some uh, leaves. And then you can always come back and, you know, add a root system below and add a little here. Or bring this down or up or add a little extra to the back. But um, it's good at this point here is to uh, start to add some leaves and start to get a little bit of uh, design going for the tree. And we got a lot of this brush out here I do want to take out. Get rid of some of that. Okay. So just start kind of following it up here a little bit. Zoom down a little bit. Zoom in a little. Yeah, so I love making trees. I've been making custom trees since the very first Scarland episode when I was like, you know what can make this world look a little bit different from the rest? of my other tries of making stuff was so let's let's work on the landscape too and i think it's actually a huge part of the good looks of scarland too is working on the landscape i think a lot of people um discount their landscapes a little bit and you know they might build a beautiful building or a house or something along those lines but sometimes people forget the landscape and it's a very important part in the design of your house is to try to find something you know, build up a nice design landscape on the outside because it really helps complement the house. It makes the house look like it's part of the world instead of just look like an alien just dropped it on your world. You know, I'm picturing, uh, what was that old game on the PS2? 
Uh, you were a you were an alien, and you were in like the 1960s, and um, uh, you what was that game called? But you had this uh, like tractor beam on the bottom, and you could pick up cars and different things like that, and um, like throw them around. So I'm just picturing that like. We just got a little flying saucer, came down, picked up the house, and dropped it here. But when you start to add the landscape now, it looks like it's now part of the world, part of the landscape of the world. So whenever you see maybe a, a, a building being built in the real world or maybe even to a Disneyland ride being constructed, they always look a little out of place till the landscape comes in. Once you add the landscape to it, it really softens up the building and makes it feel like it's part of the landscape. Okay, so I think that's starting to come out pretty good. So we're just trying to add some low-hanging branches kind of coming out here or there. It's also a good idea to add some branches that look like they're flowing in the wind. So we'll get to that in a second. So give me a few more seconds. Let me continue to kind of add some branches here. And I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. So let's pop on over here. And as you can see, that looks pretty good. I think that looks pretty good. So one thing we can do too is to make it look like so something was kind of blowing in the wind. So you can kind of add, you know, look around for places that you can kind of stick a branch here like that. You know, just find what areas you like and then you can make it look like it's kind of blowing in the wind a little bit. It looks pretty cool. Let's try something maybe like that. There we go. Just add a little extra movement to it. I think that'll look pretty cool. All right, so heading on over here, we can see we could need a little bit of extra color. So I want to just throw in maybe you know, let me sneak one guy in there and maybe you back here. Maybe just stick a few extra little flowers in there just to brighten it up, add a little extra color into that area. And let's just add a few extra plants here. Um, what can we get away with over here? You know what I think we can get away with is not breaking our house, but adding an extra layer of this here. There we go. That looks nice. And then we'll just take one of our big ferns and plant it like so. There we go. And then let's um, add a few bushes along here. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Skeleton. I need you to uh, move out of the way. Thank you. Thank you very much. And then just kind of plant these guys around here a little bit like so. Um, you know what? You know what? Where's the wolf? Where's the wolf? Where's the wolf? It's time for the wolf. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, that's so mean. Oh, ooh, those things are vicious. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. <laughs> he was in our way. He was in our way. All right, so we're just going to add some uh, some bushes along here, just randomly putting them down a little bit. There we go. Get those in there. <laughs> that was so bad. Oh, man. So we'll just stick some of these guys like so. And then that'll just kind of make a nice little uh, plant design along here. Do the same here. Add a few in the back along there. Nice. I like it. And then we can add a few little tulips here or there like so. And then, you know, just, just add these in and around. Add them as you please. I'm trying to make kind of, you know, not a fully symmetrical kind of design. Just a nice, nice little garden here. Just a nice little garden with a few flowers here or there. If you will, maybe even just a happy little flower. There we go. Great Bob and Ross references. Um, and you can you know, stick a few different plant types in here and there. It makes it look nice. Okay, I think that looks pretty good so far. Yeah, I like that. And then now we can just continue this along here. All right, I think this is gonna look very, very cool when it's all said and done. I think it's a really nice kind of flower design in here. We have so many amazing flower types nowadays. Man, when we were first making Minecraft videos, what we had was the yellow and the red flower. Now look at us. Look at all the possibilities we do have nowadays. That's amazing. Put some of those guys like so. And maybe, maybe just a nice fern right there. Nice, nice. Put those guys back there. I don't know. Maybe this, these, these guys don't look that great. Maybe. We'll see. Look, maybe like there's some weeds growing in our garden over here. Um, there we go. Yeah, I like that. Stick you over there and add an additional poppy there. Wow, I like that. I like that a lot. I think that looks pretty good. So give me one second. Give me a few minutes to kind of look it over and I'll be right back. Oh, where's my umbrella? All right, welcome back. So looking out our window at our new lawn. Look at that. Pretty cool. So 
I made one change as I was kind of looking at it, and I was thinking we could break up the lawn a little bit and maybe add a little extra to the design. So I had these little islands out in the middle of our lawn. So it just kind of breaks up the lawn so it's not just this big spance of green. So what do you think of these? Do you think we should keep them or get rid of them? I, I kind of like them. But I'm, I feel like I might move this, literally move this like one block, oh, this whole thing uh, one block over and maybe move this one, maybe a block and then one over this way so it doesn't quite block that tree um, sight line. So if you're looking, you know, this way through there, you can still kind of see that. So let me know what you think of those, if I should keep them or let them go. So that would be much appreciated. And well, guys, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the videos deserve a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar. And we'll see you later. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Um, I was thinking about, you know, doing another uh, flower bed across here, but I thought I'd push up the fence right against the, uh, the sidewalk there. Don't want anybody messing with our flowers. All right, so I'll put that there. And then, yeah, so we'll just continue this process across here. And then we'll link it up on the other side of our...